What up, friends? I am Jeff Heinberg, back here with you, my Wednesday edition PGA Tour Props Picks video here for oddschecker.com slash US. If you missed the outright picks video, check them out. It's in the feed. You might want to catch that. We've won two in a row. We're going for the hat trick here at the Riv, Riviera, uh, beautiful Los Angeles, California. Do not forget, though, if you watched the outright video, you probably entered. But Odds Checker and DraftKings have teamed up to give away a free $100 to DraftKings. All you have to do is like this video, sub to the Odds Checker feed. Hope you're already doing that so these drop right into your feed each week. And leave a comment with your Twitter handle. Again, like, like you always do for me. Sub, like you already should have been doing. And leave a comment with your Twitter handle. A winner will be picked this weekend. Hopefully I can pick another winner. And just a tease, we'll save it for the end. I have made an outright ad. Cannot put a price of, on peace of mind. And some concerning news coming out later in the day yesterday as it pertained to one of my outrights already. We'll get into that in a moment. Please enter that comment, like, sub, comment uh, with your Twitter handle. You are entered to win a free $100 from uh, DraftKings Sportsbook, courtesy, sorry, from DraftKings, DraftKings, courtesy of Odds Checker. Like, sub, comment with your Twitter handle, winner, this weekend. We're getting right into the props. Uzzy, Uzzy, Uzzy. I, I, I. We're going to the Aussies for a couple kids and a couple uh, top 20s. Uh, a couple cams. Cam Smith, plus 320 at um, points bet. And Cam Davis, plus 335 at 888 Sport. Uh, I think both guys' games fit this course very well. Cam Davis, he can just... Uh, it's just like long and straight. We're just going to be putting um, for birdie all week. From a bit of distance, enough to get us that top 20. Uh, Cam Davis, when he's in form, man, he's fun, fun to watch. He is a coming. And uh, Cam Smith, Masters darling, uh, what, two years in a row now? A lot of great Masters comps to Riviera, from Bubba to Phil to Mike Weir. Even Sergio's lost here at the finish line a couple times. I'm sure there are more cases of, of, of for, um, especially the lefties. We're not talking about a lefty here. But there is a master's correlation to Riviera. It's weird, though. I don't really see it. But, hey, I, I guess the green contours, uh, people do say it's there. I've never been to either, so who cares what I've seen? Cam Davis, Cam Smith, uh, they're going to get our top 20 card props picks rolling this week. The two Aussies, they're going to have a strong showing uh, in Los Angeles. Sam Burns, plus 400 points bet for the top 20. Sam Burns, what was the toughest course we've played so far this year? Torrey Pines, what did Sam Burns do? He went off in the final group. Followed that up the next week with the early first round lead in Phoenix. Pebble Beach, not a Sam Burns course. Not a course that profiles for a player like Sam Burns. But Riviera absolutely does. It absolutely does. He is one of the premier players in the world off the tee. And that will be a big factor this week. I think Sam Burns gets back into form. Uh, I don't have the balls, the guts to pick the outright. That might be a big of an ask for the first win. But he keeps getting these late Sunday tee times. Hopefully he is learning uh, from them, right? That's all you can ask. So good for Sam Burns. We're going to cash that uh, T20 plus 400 over at points bet. Luke List plus 600 over at points bet. And using that odds checker grid, which is always crucial, we got to get the best number. There's a there's a four to one, a plus 400 over at Will Hill. That's what? Listen, the, you don't want to ask my grade nine math teacher what it what what I got, but I'll give you a hint. It was Junior Sales. It was Junior Sales number. In Canada, that'll still get you a pass into grade 10. So math, not really my strong suit, but plus 600 on points bet with a low odd of plus 400 on Will Hill. That's like 33% better. Luke List is going to get this top 20. We're going to get the best number. That's that's really all it's about. Uh, Luke List, top 20, uh, plus 600 at points bet. He has flirted with a T20 here every time. 
He's come in that like uh, inside the top 20 once. He's been here five times, a couple just outside top 20. But he was first strokes gain off the tee at Torrey, seven strokes gain off the tee at uh, Phoenix. He's in the right place. Harder courses, usually where Luke Liss, um plays his best. He's going to frustrate us with the putter. There are 175 to one outrights. I don't have those stones, but I love Luke List. I love Luke List. Of like that lower end tier, he's a guy that I am a big, big um, fan of in general. So those are it. Cam Smith, Cam Davis, Sam Burns, Luke List. Those are the top 20 team. Uh, last week, the props, we hit the Chris Kirk one, which which saved us. The week before, we, we annihilated the props. So as long as we can catch a nibble, save us, especially when we score on that outright card like we did last week. Hopefully, we could do the same again this week and the props just become gravy and we can start cheering for these guys down the stretch on Sunday to keep, hold, or make those top 20s. I did promise an outright ad. It wasn't Luke List at 175 to 1. I am tempted, but I don't waste shekels at the back of the board. There's kind of no point. These guys don't win when the fields are together like this. When the big boys are together, those guys don't win. I can think, yeah, they just, they don't. They don't. I don't care to break it down, but people who like to play the long shots are starting to realize there's kind of no point when big boys get together to have a golf tournament. Only 121 guys in the field this week. Victor Hovland, 35 to 1, DraftKings Sportsbook. I'm adding him to my outright card. I love this pick. Full disclosure, I was on the fence between Hovland and Morikawa. I got scared off Hovland in the same way I kind of got scared off him going into Tory um, when I made my initial card and then said, no, 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 no. Can't be scared. Will Victor Hovland struggle if he has to scramble? Yeah, probably, of course. But he's not going to win that way if he needs to like convert a high level of scrambling. Victor Hovland's going to win if Victor Hovland's playing well and he's literally fairway to green to 20 feet and sometimes five feet all, all week. That's how he's going to win. Sure, no doubt. To actually cash the ticket, will we need some spectacular save on Sunday? Of course. Who doesn't win without a big a big save out of a bunker on uh, on Sunday? That That's part of golf. But I'm betting on a Victor Hovland ceiling. I believe a place like Riviera – is where a guy like Victor Hovland will absolutely flourish in his career. Much like he did at Torrey Pines. Much like he did at Torrey Pines. I am all in. So I was torn on Hovland Morikawa. The news comes out yesterday. Morikawa is going to this like claw putting grit. Like or some side claw. I mean, as long as he's not side saddling, we're keeping him on the betting card. And at what, 40 to 1 we got Morikawa at? You could lock me in for life for the whole year, for, for his entire. Give me like a five year contract. I'll bet more cow at 40 to one if a sports book wants to sign it with me. I'll even pay up front for like the year, the first year. But I, but, but I had to just go back to Hovland. Can't put a price on peace of mind. I love him too much. I'm all in on courses like this in this range. Courses like this, this betting range, if they're going to leave Vic and Morikawa in that 35-40 to 1, we're going to catch them. We are going to catch the book, boys and gals. That is what we are going to do. I'm Jeff Feinberg. I'm out. All the details are below on the final card. Uh, everything I said here will be in it. Don't forget, odds checker, DraftKings contest. Like the video. Sub to the feed so these drop right in each week. And hook a comment with... Your Twitter handle, a winner, will be announced this week. I am Jeff Feinberg. Let's go for three in a row at the Riv.